Welcome to Flipped Classroom. Today's lesson is on compound sentences. Independent clauses look very much like a sentence. Just like a sentence, an independent clause has a subject and a verb. The only difference between a sentence and an independent clause is an independent clause does not have to start with a capital letter and does not have to have an end mark. Let's take a look at, its, at the examples. Dogs eat meat. I can write the sentence with a capital D and a period. I can also write it with a lowercase d and without a period. Both are considered independent clauses, but only the one with the capital and the period can be considered a sentence. Let's look at skydiving as fun. I can write it in two ways. If I capital, both are considered independent clauses. Only the one with the capital letter in the period is considered a sentence. So when would we use an independent clause that does not have capitalization and an end mark? We would use it when you're hooking it on to another group of words. For example, when they are hungry, dogs eat meat. When they are bored, skydiving is fun. A compound sentence is made up of two or more independent clauses, or two or more sentences. There are three ways to connect two sentences, or two independent clauses. One, using a coordinating conjunction. We're going to call that fanboys. Two, using a semicolon, plus a transition word, plus a comma. And the last option is just connecting them with a semicolon. Coordinating conjunctions. When you use a coordinating conjunction, you add a comma and a fanboy. Fanboy stands for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Let's take a look at example. Dogs get hungry, comma, so they eat meat. Another example. I am happy, comma, for she makes me smile. In both cases, I've connected two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction. The other option is to use a semicolon, transition word, and a comma. For example, dogs get hungry, semicolon, therefore, comma, they eat meat. I am hungry, semicolon, consequently, comma, she gets nervous. Dogs get hungry, therefore they eat meat. I am angry, consequently she gets nervous. In both examples, I've connected two independent clauses using a semicolon, transition word, and a comma. The last method is just linking both independent clauses with a semicolon. For example, dogs get hungry, they eat meat. I am happy, she makes me smile. I want to swim, she has a pool in her yard. The semicolon connection method is less common in American style of writing. It is more common in the British style. It is also very common in poetry. The most common form is the fanboy, for and nor, but or yet so. Why is it important to use compound sentences? Well, you'd like to start to speak and write like a sophisticated adult writer. In that sense, you'd like to use more longer sentences, which one way to create longer sentences is to link together two independent clauses. For a flashback to your childhood, it'd be fun to take a look at the YouTube video from Schoolhouse Rock called Conjunction Junction, What's Your Function? Not only is it a fun way to reminisce um, e ways that we saw conjunctions presented to us as children, it's also a great catchy song that you'll remember when connecting your independent clauses. Thank you for joining me today in the flipped classroom for coordinating conjunctions.